This is not a Scottish event, but since I am a Scottish barb, a Scotsman I will be. Recently, I was a bard to a minor noble in the court of my Queen Mary, Scotland. How I came to the Midrealm is something for another topic, another day. This I ran across very recently, so I've not actually given it before, and I'm not real prepared on it. So I must tell you that the following has been edited for <laughs> format and time constraints. <laughs> Colonel Krog Bruhi was a great warrior, well respected all across Scotland, and he had the king's welcome. His son, however, was another story. And during an argument, his son, Conan Conal's son, killed the king's son. And Conal and his son were summoned to the king. I do not wish vengeance on you for the death of my fine, brave lad. Here are the terms of the compensation I require for the death of my son. Go to the land of Lachlan and bring back the king's famous brown horse. Conal and his son set off for Lachlan, which we know is Norway. They were at a loss as to how to acquire the horse, for the king would not readily release it. So they set out to steal it, and they snuck into the stables. But they were discovered and brought before the king. Can it be Conal Krog Brudy, who is working in my stable? I have heard many stories of your courage and ability, but none would suggest that you are coming like a thief. Connell explained why and how he'd come to Lachlan, and why they were in the king's stables. I knew that I could not accept the brown horse or acquire the brown horse by simply asking. Well, true enough, was the king's reply. The king addressed his son. You, you are the cause of this trouble. At dawn ye shall die. To Connell he said, Necessity made you come here, and I forgive you. But faced with your son's death, can you tell me if you ever were in a more difficult situation? I was, and in many such situations, and I survived them all. If you can tell me one more situ difficult situation you overcame, I'll set your son free. One day when I was out hunting, I came upon a lock. And there was a boat on the shore, and there was a beautiful island up in the distance with plenty of game. But when I set my foot on the boat, off it sped, and wouldn't stop until it hit the island. But when I came ashore, the boat, the woods, the game, all vanished. There was an old cabin, and in front of it was a cauldron. Beside it was a woman with a knife at the throat of her naked child. It turned out that she had come across from the, by the enchanted boat too. And there was no food on the island, so the wicked sorcerer who controlled the island was making her kill the son for dinner that night. Hide the child. I'll get in the pot. Put the lid on. <coughs> and this was barely accomplished before the sorcerer came back and inquired about the child. He's in the pot. Here I am, Mama, but it's getting awful hot in here. <laughs> <coughs> Luck was with us. And the sorcerer, because it was so far away from dinner yet, fell asleep. So I, with the help of the woman, slipped out of the cauldron and drew the wizard's sorcerer's magic sword from his side and killed him with his own sword. With the sorcerer's death, we, the enchantment was broken and we escaped. Now, the king's mother was, had been listening to all of this. So we meet again, Colonel Krog Broid. I was that woman, and my son, the king, was that lad. Upon hearing this, and seeing the burdens on my hand from lifting this hot lid off me, 
the king realized it was a true story. He not only freed my son, but in gratitude gave us the brown horse.